Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Tyler Bishop, and today we're going to be talking about getting those rich results in search so that you can rank higher for keywords and get more traffic to your website. So today we're talking a little bit about ranking for um, various different keywords, but partially with the focus on getting a rich snippet. So what is a rich snippet or a rich result inside of search results? It could be any number of these things that you're seeing on the screen right now. So you can see my search here for who was Abraham Lincoln. You can see here at the top, there's a description with a photo. This is kind of that typical position zero snippet. Over here, you have the rich results of Abraham Lincoln, some details about him with various links. And then also, you've got this people also ask box here, which we'll get into just a little bit. But first, we want to start with our keyword. So we're going to use SEMrush today as our keyword research tool. But I want you to keep in mind, I'm going to show you a free way to do this using Google itself. But if you do have access to a keyword tool, a lot of times they can speed up this process. So in this case, I jammed my finger recently. It's a great keyword for my injury blog that I have, injuryhealthblog.com. And we beat it up a lot on this show. But today, I'm going to be adding some new content to it and it's gonna be about a jammed finger. Now you can see the volume for jammed finger is pretty high and it's also fairly competitive. So the chances of me ranking number one for jammed finger quickly on my small injury blog are probably not great. However, there's tons of long tail keywords associated with this that I can get traffic from very quickly if I can get the rich result. So I'm gonna go into phrase match keywords now. I wanna see the other queries that are associated with this. So what are people searching for in relation to this? So if I'm gonna write an article about this, how do I include all the relevant information that people search for related to my specific keyword or topic? So you can see here under jammed finger, uh, we have how to fix a jammed finger, jammed finger treatment, uh, what to do for a jammed finger, uh, how to heal it, the symptoms, how to tell if a jammed finger is jammed versus broken. So we've got a lot of good information here. So if I'm gonna write about this topic, I should probably cover treatments, uh, the healing link, the symptoms, um, how to tell if it's broken or not. This is all good information for me to start with. Now, if I don't have access to a tool like this, Google can actually be my best friend here because what's gonna happen is I can type in my keyword here to the search result. I just have to press space after the word and I can start to get a lot of these additional terms here. So tips, treatment, if somebody's asking about something about its swelling, you've got ICD-10 code, which is actually the medical code for the type of injury or the diagnosis. And so you get an idea of what types of people might be searching for this, as well as what types of information they're interested in alongside it. So for example, you may want to include information about whether or not it's important to have an x-ray for a jammed finger. Now, Going even beyond just using the search results, we have these people also ask boxes. Now you can see I've already expanded this one quite a bit, but you can start to see the types of questions that are associated with this. This is a lot like those phrase match keywords from our nice paid keyword tool. So SEMrush does offer some limited free functionality, but it is a paid tool. But you can actually get a lot of the same information from this people also search box. And if you need more, as you click on these, Google magically starts giving you more. So does a fractured finger need surgery? That's good information maybe on your article about a jammed finger. So now I'm ready to write my article. So I go into WordPress here and I've created a new post. In my case, I'm using WordPress. You can use whatever CMS or, or content creation system that you have. Um, so I'm gonna go in at the top and I'm gonna, I've chosen how to fix a jammed finger as my title here. And now I picked it partially because it's not this, this overarching keyword that's gonna be hard to rank for. It is, I picked one very specifically, how to fix a jammed finger. So this is my overarching topic. You can see it gets searched quite a bit here. And now I'm gonna go in, and the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that if my title here isn't making it an H1, I wanna make sure that I create the overarching uh, h tag for my article itself to be an h1 but if it's not um i will make that an h1 if not i will make it an h2 perhaps depending if i have a image that appears between my h1 and my h2 and then i'm going to set up my article here so 
I may um, have some basic brief text here, and I may even include some bullets. Oops, I had that jumping around quite a bit there. But I may want to create some bullets here or some numbered lists to try to engage my audience right away. Let them know that this information is going to be succinct, especially for something like this where I'm going to be breaking down multiple top topics. And I want to include lots of questions. So when we think about ranking for that rich result, if you go back to who is Abraham Lincoln, it's answering a very specific question. And so a lot of times what will happen is these snippets will be taken from sites right below their H2 tags. So what I may need to do is have a question in here. So I go back to my magic expanding boxes here. So the very first question that I may write about inside of my article is how long does it take for a jammed finger to heal? So I go in here, I take this out, and now I'm going to make this an H2. And now, hope, hopefully you have some expertise on the topic or can actually add some value that's not out there on the web already. And it takes approximately four to six weeks to heal a jammed finger. Now, I don't know if it does or not, but hopefully I can add additional content here. And my goal now is to get the people also ask box or a rich snippet for people that are searching for uh, how long it takes to heal a jammed finger. So you may want to make this one sentence, you may want to make it three or four, but the goal is to put the answer to the question specifically related to the query that you've taken um, underneath this question. And then you can provide additional details um, as you go down the page here. Now, you want to try to break up your content as much as possible with these different questions. My goal in writing this article, so you can see my overarching one was how to fix a jammed finger. So I may just try to focus on the queries or the questions or the topics that are related to uh, essentially fixing it or treating it or healing a jammed finger. Um, so a good one here is how do you fix a jammed finger fast? Since that definitely relates to my overarching theme, I may decide to make this my second H2 here. And again, I will make my answer very succinct underneath here and then I will continue to provide as much de as many details as I can now the other thing that I may try to do here is inside of these sections because remember rich snippets also have an image associated with them and those images that are associated with the snippet aren't always taken from the same site as the snippet itself and so another way to kind of hack your way to the top of search results is to then add in a picture and I've already got one here of a jammed finger that I've gotten off of the internet. I'm going to make my alt tag the same as the H2 that it's underneath. So I'm going to take that H2 tag, which was how do you fix a jammed finger fast? And I'm going to actually make this image that's underneath that H2 my alt text tag as well for my image. So this lets Google and search engines know as they're crawling this content. So there's sections in here that A, answer that question, and then B, have a good answer, and then C, also have images and material associated with it. So we actually have media inside of this entire article that answers my searcher's query. And that query is essentially they're trying to figure out how do they fix a jammed finger. Now, we've got tons and tons of questions that we can filter through either here inside of the Google SERP or inside of our magic keyword tool. And we can use any number of these to construct a post that includes lots of information, answers, H2 sections, and then as many different times as I can, I wanna to try to include things like bulleted lists and numbered lists and things along those lines because those are other places where Google will actually go in and try to find rich snippets. So you can see here, uh, I'm adding different bulleted lists inside of my content. And this will essentially help me if someone is looking for a list of something, maybe a list of treatments for jammed fingers or something along those lines. So by the time you're done with this, you're going to be sick of writing about jammed fingers, but then you can just go in, uh, you can edit your title tag and your meta description, however you think uh, fits the audience that you're trying to reach. And then all you have to do is publish your article. And then what you're going to want to do is after that article has been published for, um, a certain amount of time 
you're going to want to go back into a tool like SEM Rush um, or something along those lines, and you're going to want to take the URL that's been published and then throw it back into one of these tools and search it. Now, this is just my WP admin login, so I'm not going to get very many results. Oh, sorry, we haven't found any yet. But then what you can do is you can actually check the positions. So you can start to see which of those queries am I actually ranking for, and am I ranking for queries that maybe I didn't even add into my article that I can go in and add after the fact. So that's been it for how to write content that will get you those rich results in search and hopefully get you a lot more organic traffic quickly. These are a lot of really helpful uh, mechanisms and tools that you can use that are free. Uh, SEMrush is paid, but you can use Google for free and you can get um, a lot of traffic from basically writing content that way. Uh, it is going to be more in terms of uh, longer form content, but being able to answer questions, include those images, and then write those short answers underneath your H2s, those will help you rank quickly for various terms and in some cases put you right to the top of search results with a rich result. Hopefully this has helped you get some more organic traffic. I've been Tyler Bishop, and this has been another episode of Zoic Explains.